Welcome to City Talk. It's about town, Deb. Debbie McCarthy. I'm so excited to be on set at Dream Pilot Films. And the best part of this show, I wish you were here because you can smell this amazing food. It smells good. It smells delicious. So we are going to be, um, actually, let me just tell you the name, what we're going to name the show this week. Brews, Fights, and Broadway Lights. Because today on set, we're going to do a quick introduction, and then I will tell you who's also going to be on the show. Lee Conley, General Manager of the Fox Brewery and Pub. Can we just say Brew Pub? Brew Pub. Brew Brewery. Pub. Yeah. Brewery and Pub. It's amazing. And, you know, you need to have a chef as well. Geraldo? No. Geraldo. Gira ah! Geraldo. I did it pretty good. Chef yeah. Geraldo. Um, we're so happy you're here, too. And yeah. I hear that you got to pick out what you're bringing. So I'll let you quickly say what we have here. Just say uh, what it's called so that we can, I can dream about it as I continue the introduction. Yes, we brought today uh, the chicken pot pie, the sound of favorites. And also we brought the chicken wings with the awesome sauce that we come out and we win a world back in the day. And also we got the mass spinach salad. It's something that the, the owners like to have in the menu. So oh, I love that. That's a good and salad too. To have a pub, you need to have some beer. We have the brewmaster, Rusty Anderson. How Hello. are you? You Good. just had a birthday. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. I'm going to be bugging you all the time about your birthday now. <laughs> You'll never forget. <laughs> I'll never forget your birthday. So I'm very excited to have all three of you here. And I love the idea that we have another local, amazing brew pub restaurant where families can go, where you can have, you can just yep. do everything there, and it's really cool. And you are located in the heart of Midtown, which Midtown is booming in Reno, yeah. um, and I'm sure you guys all know that. You've been here a while, and I'm just really, really excited. But before we get to that, I'm still smelling, guys. I wish you could smell this. It's so good. Um, I always want to thank Labels, Blythe, for um, dressing me today, and I also... So we're all, oh, we're also having um, Pioneer Center on after you guys, and we're going to be talking about pretty women. So there's a photo of pretty women in a, with a brown dress with white polka dots. This isn't brown. This is the closest to polka dots that I could get, but I have my boots. I've got high boots on to represent pretty women with Julia Roberts. So we're going to be talking to them as well. So thank you, Blythe. And I am, let me tell you, we like to say what outfit I am wearing. I am wearing a Misa jumpsuit and a vintage Christian Dior belt, but you can't really see that. Um, Alexis Bitar gold and rhinestone earrings. Um, caliber hair and makeup, always does my hair and makeup, but yeah, get me today. Uh, it was a busy day for them. I think they're out traveling. So hair and makeup by me. Soak nails, in salon i'm trying to get brave go with the red getting you know february is almost here so there is my thank yous out so let's get talking here i'm going to start with lee because you know gm you've been there and we have two locations carson city and now here i really would like you to talk a little bit about the history of the brew pub because that's like a big let's start with the history and we'll go forward from there um, the owner decided to open the restaurant in end of 2006. Uh, we teamed up with the La Piccolos inside of St. Charles and did some, a major renovation and opened up February 7th, 2008. Oh, in Carson City. In Carson City. Okay. Um, been doing there 16 years. And then about a year ago, uh, our owner Jim found basically the old Silver Peak location uh, decided to purchase that building, moved in in March, opened the end of June. Well, there's a little history with that building as well. It's like a long time Reno historical, or the whole location. Can you share a little bit about that? Um, apparently it was originally an ice house, uh, railroad tracks on Holcomb. They would take the water by horse and buggy and the ice down, <laughs> uh, Wonder Street to the railroad tracks to go to its destination. That is so cool. I love the idea that time goes by so fast, but I think it's cool that you guys are keeping the auth authenticity um, and the history. You know, you're not just didn't come in and tear it all down and start over. And a lot of people do that. And I, I love the idea that you guys are about community and that makes it's really important to all of us. Uh, I'm going to do my quote. Then I'm going to go over to um, chef here. Jerome. Jerome. <laughs> anyway, it's He wants me to say it fast, but when I say it fast, it's even worse. So and every drop of beer and every bite of food at Fox Brewery and Pub, there's a story of passion, 
craftsmanship, and a celebration of community. So since we are talking about that, I'm going to move it over to Chef here. We're talking about the passion of the food. Yes. So tell me a little bit about, well, for long, how, how long have you been at the brewery? Uh, the, uh, the brewery, as you say, back in the day, started 2006. So I started probably 2010. And from there, I worked 10 years with them. And I left. And when they off, they, they, they know they could open this one, so they contact me and I said, yeah. So I love what I do and then, you know, we have delicious dishes. Oh, yes. We put so much love in there. I agree. You know? So when, when you're crafting the menu, that's mm -hmm. like a big important part of your job. And I'm telling you, George and I were there, we've been there a few times to both locations, but the, the flavors and the ambiance, and I say the, the crafting of the skill of what you've done is really what stands, I feel, stands you guys out because it's that home cooking, it's that good stuff. So when you're um, crafting the menu and you're um, doing this, do you have like, did you have like, this is why I want to do it? Do you have a favorite on the menu? Yeah, we do actually, you know, like that sauce that we have, the awesome sauce. And that's on the chicken wings there. And the chicken wings, yeah, it's, it's one of the creations that we have in the Pumas. And uh, the Popeye also, too, is one of the unique recipes that we keep her since day one. Well, I got to say, this chicken pot pie, the next segment, we are going to dive in. When you open it, it comes to your table, and when you, when you cut it, all the steam comes out, and it's just so fresh, and it's so good. And I, that, to me, is when I'm feeling down or I'm missing, like, a home-cooked meal because I don't cook. <laughs> this is my go-to exactly. and the crust is so amazing yeah i really really enjoy that um so do you have any um upcoming new menu items or any new creations we can uh, actually host these uh, pizzas coming up on, the, on our menu soon we're still working on it but uh, uh we using, is that what you were talking about yes we're using our grain from the we're using for the beer and we're using also our beer and our dough recipe and it's going to come out soon. Uh, and also, like, for example, the chicken that we have in the mass chicken salad, mm. all the chicken bearing is in the house, and we use all our beer. Like, for example, that one, we use the red beer ale and the chicken and the breading and the butter. Mm. So most of the, like, I would say 95% of the items that we have in the menu is with beer. Oh, so I like it. So something. I'm going to move over here to Rusty. So you had said you guys are partnering with that. Can you share a little bit about how it, how you guys collaborated? Um, he just came to me one day with the idea and to use the spent grain. And it's um, a really good idea to repurpose some things and to um, make the brewery a part of the food menu as well. Well, I'm really excited about that. Um, one more question for you. Yes. So. What is your favorite item on the menu? My favorite? Yeah, I want to know your favorite. I want to know each your favorites, but what's your favorite? Um, salad, the mass spinach salad. That's what I pick it. Cause really? Yeah, I'm I surprised. It. I would have thought it would have been more of a meaty, hearty kind of a meal. Yeah, no, like me personally, I like yeah. the salad. So, and it's sweet, the papacy dressing, the oh. chicken, the crispiness. It's that's for like. It's one of my favorites. I mean, we have the Santa Fe salad too. Santa Fe wrap is one of my favorites too. Like, honestly, you name any on the menu and I love, you know. I mean, do it for Lee. Okay, Lee. Probably. The pickles? <laughs> ah, those are good. Those Fried are good. pickles, those are kind of my um, favorite right now. Tacos are a solid go-to. Okay. But I would probably say the Western burger. Oh, like big, juicy, yes. yummy. I'm craving a burger right now. Okay, I like that. Rusty, what's yours? Um, honestly, I like whatever special chef puts on <laughs> any day. So okay, I like trying new stuff. Okay, well, we're gonna take our first break, and we come back. We're gonna pop some beer. Well, actually, you're gonna we're gonna talk about the beer. We're gonna talk about a little bit more about the restaurant. But we do have some samples we get to do, and we may be sampling some food. It's about town. Deb with City Talk. Be right back.
It's not a place. It's not a thing. It's something much bigger than the sum of its parts. You can be anything and everything you want here. You can have dreams of hitting it big and keeping it small. Dreams of being what and who you want. But it's more than just a dream. We don't care if you're a photographer, restaurateur, car salesman, shopkeeper, or barista. Here, it's what you dream it could be. We dismiss stereotypes. We look past archetypes. We hitch our dreams to this community. We are open. Open to you, to your time with us, to your every whim. We are open for business. Open for fun. Open for memories. Open to the future of ourselves, to creativity, individuality. Open to excellence in everything we do. We are Midtown. Open to whatever comes our way. Closed minds, not allowed. Closed hearts, rejected. We are Midtown. The real Reno, where Reno lives, where Reno works, where Reno plays, where Reno loves. Every day, with passion, dedication, and an open heart for anyone that comes our way. We are Midtown. Welcome back. It's About Town Dev, Debbie McCarthy with City Talk at Dream Pilot Films. I am so hungry. I know you've got to be hungry because I'm telling you, this is so good. And I have to confess, I, ha I have not had the wings. I'm really excited. Chicken pot pie. The salad was the first thing I tried. And I ate it very slow because I wanted, the, like the, the t my taste buds were tasting so many different, like, sensations on how you would describe it, but it was really, really, really good. So how about Lee, why don't you pour us some beer so we can cheers to you guys? Cause you know, you guys are a big deal in Midtown now this on Wonder Street. This is our Street. Busby Honey. Busby Honey. We like that one. Yes. Use some honey in this aspect. It's about 5.4%. Pardon the reach. Mm -hmm. And for more beer information, I'll turn over we'll the brewer. Go over he there. knows more about it than I do. Yeah, so that was our first award-winning beer. The oh, I'm beer. taking the bigger one. <laughs> and we know it's your favorite beer as well. It is mine. No, I, I like it. It kind of reminds me because, like, I don't know, buzzing around town. Don't <laughs> That's kind of yeah, how I, it's like, it's like a blondish color. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me, who, like, who created the name? How did that one come up? Um, Lee would know more about that than me. It's been around way before my time. We won the gold medal in like 2014, 15. The name, I can't truthfully say. I don't even, that's, I can't truthfully give you an answer on that. That's okay. We, we got, I, I know there's another beer we can talk. There's plenty of beer talk we can go. So um, yeah. let's do a cheers. We don't want to forget the cheers. Let's, okay, let's get right, a cheers let's going because I've been drooling. And I, cheers, cheers. to you guys Thank for you. being on set. Oh, this, oh, I can actually taste, I feel like, can I taste a little bit of the honey? Absolutely. I can taste the honey. So, it, like, do you actually put honey in the beer? How does that work? Yeah, so we put the honey in the boil, and it's a highly fermentable okay, sugar. Okay, one second, in the, in the boil? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? The beer. For, for those so, of us who don't know? It, um, it, it allows the hops to take action inside the, inside the wort. Okay. So it's still it, a rookie here. Okay. So the alpha acids will dissolve into the solution, and that's what creates the bitterness that um, opposes the sweetness of the malt. Awesome. Well, I definitely like the honey. I like vanilla. I like honey. I'm kind of like a girly girl kind of beer. Um, so that is totally delicious. I'm going to go back to Lee for a minute. So for those of you just joining in, I am really excited to have the team of the Fox Brewery and Pub. We're going to say the Fox Brew Pub. If you've been in Carson City, you will have definitely gone to their one in Carson City. Actually, I'm going to, I always go off task. George and I were there for, I don't know. Oh, you guys had like, um, 
tilts out there. There are people's it St. Patty's Day. It, it was may have been say it was like last year, but we went and we were like, let's just go cruising. And the area where you're at is like a nice little there's other restaurants around you on the corner. And there was music and we went inside the pub and I just felt like I was in like Ireland I'm mean, not Ireland, but I felt like I was I was on vacation. I really like you're bringing such a, an ambiance to Carson City and I loved it. And then now to know that I don't have to drive all the way to Carson City. <laughs> um, so I, I just want to know what can people expect when they're coming in to either place. But right now we want to talk about the one in Reno. What can they expect? Um, consistency with the food. So the same chicken pot pie you get in Reno is the same one you get in Carson. Uh, wings the exact same. Beers are the same because we do have brewing going on in Carson as we do in, in Reno. Okay. Um, so consistency with staffing, with service, with the food, um, atmosphere, the ambiance, nice older historic building. Um, yeah. Okay. One, I, this, now this, this question, I, I really want to know about this one because we're, we're kind of combining, you know, you do have a special beer that you, that's, um, for a local nonprofit. Can you talk about that? Uh, that is the, the Karma Sutro. Karma Sutro. They teamed up with uh, the Sutro Tunnel Project, and a portion of the sales from that beer goes to the rehabilitation of the Sutro Tunnel. Where is the Sutro Tunnel? I'm case Dayton. Dayton. Is it like it must be a historical? It's historical. It's older. That's about. I've never physically been there to be honest. Hmm. Well, that's, I think we need to do an About Town Deb adventure and you guys should take us on a tour since you're kind of helping promote them and raise some funds. Um, activity wise, Lee, what's anything planned for the summer? Are we, I know we want summer uh, to get here. We're looking into getting a, um, a license for music entertainment. Uh, and then our next big event will be, we'll do a, a special for Valentine's Day. Oh, this tell me about that. We're finalizing the menu as we speak. Valentine's mm. Day is February 14th. We'll be doing yeah, um, a soup or a salad, entree and dessert, all inclusive. Um, and then in like 45 days, it'll be St. Patty's Day. And that will be a three-day weekend. A big, it, that'll be like, yeah. let's all go for it and go out and have fun. We'll have the green beer. We'll have corned beef and cabbage. Oh, I love corned beef and cabbage. We'll have lamb stew and soda bread. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, la I, I've i never had lamb and soda bread. You should try it. And then we'll have a eight-piece uh, bagpiper drum. Okay, that's who you had. That's what I was trying to say. When we were at Carson Sierra City, Highlanders. they were there. I, Sierra Landers. I actually have video of it, by the way. I, I have proof. I don't. You may not see it on this show, but I was there. I took video. It was the most fun we've had. And if you're going to bring that to Midtown. Yes. You guys are stepping it up quite a bit. I want to say Sunday at six o'clock on St. Patty's Day. We'll have an eight piece in Carson and an eight piece in, in Reno. Oh my goodness. I love that. So let's go back to, I'm going to go back to, I'm kind of hungry. So yeah. what would you like us to try first? Say, it's about you, chef. You this know, is your. You haven't tried the, the green, so let's. Oh, I'm a little. Oh, there, okay. You already have the Popeye. You told me about it. I did, but I, I may have to like, okay, I may have to have like, <laughs> I may have to have, you know, get a, um, you guys have to have something too, not just me. These guys. Oh, right is this spicy? It's, it's got a little kick to it. <laughs> uh oh, here we go. <laughs> so, so Carson had a chicken wing contest years ago and we at the Fox mm. and Carson entered it and we won. And it was this sauce that our chef created mm. that won it. And we call it the awesome sauce. It is awesomely <laughs> awesome. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. Oh, this is really good. It is a little spicy, but I like it. with the beer. Mm-hmm. It goes very good. Wings and beer. Wings and beer. So t the portions are very generous. Talk a little bit about that. When George and I like to say, when you order the chicken pot pie, that's what you're going to get. Yes. Uh, and that's a huge salad. But I've, we've been there and I've seen like people order this huge thing of, of um, the wings. It's like huge. Oh, the wing nut. Wing that nut. is 25 wings. You're going to get up to, you can choose up to five different flavors. We have uh, 16 flavors uh. to choose from. 
uh, buffalo, barbecue, sweet chili, Cajun. Um, and then you get your choice of ranch or blue cheese and then celery and carrots on a nice platter. So with the ranch, do people use the ranch to cool down the spice, chef? I mean, is that kind of what it's for? Kind of, yeah, because some people don't like the spiciness, you know, like too much spicy, but I like this one is mild. Mm. So it goes well with the, with the ranch, a combination of both, you know, it's good. I'm going to throw in a quote because it kind of fits what we're talking about right now. I plan these, you know, but I don't yeah, know what you guys really. are going to say, but here we go. <laughs> the essence of Fox Brewery and Pub lies not just in the flavors, but in the journey, a journey from humble beginnings to becoming a beacon of culinary and brewing excellence in Reno. I like it. I feel when I walk in there, and I had, I had said that to Lee when George and I were there, we like walked in and I just felt like it was this, I was home. And then we, we were greeted and you know, it was just, I just felt just safe and good. And, and the last time we were there with Brandon, our producer, and he was there with his wife and some friends and he has like an app. So he was like grading all the beers. Like, so you guys were like a big deal. I really, you know, it was really a lot of fun. Um, let's go back to, let's talk a little bit more. Rusty. Yes. Let's go to you here. Um, do you have any special seasonal beer coming up? Um, we have seasonals that rotate in and out. Um, we have a Christmas um, holiday seasonal beer, a Chai Dunkelweizen that's out right now. And chai what, what? Chai Dunkel? Chai Dunkelweizen. Dunkel chai Weizen. Spice Dunkelweizen. And um, we just put out uh, in our uh, Strong Ale Foxtrot, which is more um, geared towards a wintertime, uh, nice warm wintertime beer. Well, it's a little bit chilly still here in town, so I would love you to go. They need You have some really nice warm sipping drinks. Yes. I was so excited because it was chilly. We were there and I was like, I just want like a hot toddy or some hot chocolate or the, um, what's the one with the, the butter, butter, butter? Oh, hot and buttered. Hot and buttered. I'm just saying that you have a little bit something for everybody. And you, ha you also are supporting, I know you have some um, local spirits, I think. Uh, Tahoe do you have Fre Blue, Yeah, do you Frey have Frey Ranch? Ranch? So I, that is even more special to me because I love them both. And I like that you guys do promote local and it's really good. If you were to say one thing about each of you, one thing about why you are a part of Fox Brew Pub, what would it be? to tell our audience why they need to come and see you. From your, speak from your heart. This is just unscripted from your heart. Why should we come and see you? And I'm going to have a bite of this while you're talking I, about as it. As you're taking a bite of that, I say, because uh, in my part in the kitchen is everything that we do, we make, is from the heart. Oh. <laughs> you know, and it, it, it explained on the, mm. and the flavors and everything. So... Mm. That's mm, all I can say mm. for my, but hey, it is delicious. This is so good. I'm, I'm telling you, this, this crust right here, I can just eat the whole crust all by myself. So if it disappears, you know it was me. Okay, your turn, Lee. Um, I would say 15 years of excellence is, is done, is show something. So we're trying to do that here in Reno as well. Okay. We're not just a fly-by-night restaurant. You're we, here to stay. We're here to stay. Um, when they came with me mm -hmm. <clears throat> for the opportunity to brew at the, in Nevada's third oldest functioning brewery, I jumped oh, there you go. at the opportunity. Um, I love the people I work with, and in Midtown, at least, the brewing community is awesome, very supportive. Well, I am, am very honored that you guys are here. Um, website? Foxpubs.com foxpubs.com um one other thing let's give a shout out to the owner jim and gabby jim and gabby because i thank you i wanted to send a personal thank you because he reached out to me personally um on instagram and said hey i'd love you to um, come out and try our food and and you know share about us and i thought that was really special that it came right from jim um, do you want to share a little bit about Jim well, before we close out our segment? Um, they, he moved here with a family when he was younger, I want to say about 15 years old. 
uh, actually younger than that, probably about 10 years old, um, raised in Carson, uh, went to college in California. That's where him and his wife met. And they opened the first restaurant in Carson in 2006. Oh, well, I, I don't really want you to leave, but oh, I know 2008. We, 2008. It's okay. We, we can be off a little bit. I'm always off a little bit. Um, really quick, tell us about these two beers, and then we're going to go to our next segment, and we're going to be we're going to be having the Pioneer Center on talking about pretty women. So, um, what's this one? So uh, the the other beer on the right is uh, Seamus O'Fallon. Um, this Irish one right here. Red. Uh -huh. So is uh, it actually red? It is Irish actually red. red. Um, uses imported malt, and um, it's true to style. Um, when you say for, true to style, for mean... an Irish red. Okay. Um, instead of uh, American style reds, it's uh, a lot maltier and a lot it's sweeter. So good. And then the other beer that we brought is Seven Seven Five, and that's our newest flagship beer. Mm. It's a um, golden dry hop blonde ale. It's just got a lot of great aroma, very um, mild on the palate, and very easy drinking. And that is George's favorite. My favorite um, too. That's your favorite. I love that it's seven seven five. It's definitely local. Our seven seven five area code. If you're right. not from here, so I want to personally invite anybody out there listening. Whether you're a local in the Reno, Carson, Tahoe, whether you're coming to visit family and friends, you want to go to Midtown. Definitely, we love Midtown anyway, and we love downtown. We have so much to offer in our community. But if you want to get a real experience of down home, feeling a part of the locals, you definitely want to go right in Midtown, it's on Wonder Street, and website one more time? Foxpubs.com. So I wanna thank you guys for being here. Um, I, when it's, we're gonna take a break, we're gonna come back, we're gonna be talking about pretty women, and I'm gonna be eating in between. So we'll be right back, we'll take our next break. It's About Town Dev with City Talk. Welcome to Hollywood! Watch your dream. From the big screen to the Broadway stage, Pretty Woman the Musical. Coming to the Pioneer Center, February 6th through 11th. Tickets on sale at PioneerCenter.com. Welcome back to City Talk. I'm about town dev, Debbie McCarthy at Dream Pilot Films. I'm so happy Adam and Denise for the Pioneer are back. Hi. I feel like this is your couch. Oh, it, we love it. Thank it you is. so much. This, yeah, and I getting, see that, you know, healthy. polka dots. So I was doing my research in Pretty Woman. <laughs> for those of you who have not seen Pretty Woman, there's a scene where she's wearing the short sleeve, brown dress, white polka dots, and a belt. Well, I had a pink blouse with polka dots didn't quite have the right feel so i went to labels <laughs> these are polka dots but they're close enough and i have my boots yes beautiful. and denise she has polka dots right. in her boots you hey, even i got polka dots you got and polka dots That's and right. boots so we we love to celebrate <laughs> broadway and the pioneer and i love that you guys get to come on and share about all the new shows that are coming the musicals and I, I, I'm going to go back one a little bit here. Um, the last one was six. Yes. yes. That one was fun. Phenomenal I, show. I had no idea, number one. Mm -hmm. I did not know. I'm, you know me, I'm pretty honest. I didn't do my research because you guys, were, mm -hmm. we weren't able to do a show on yeah, that. Yeah, it was like right during the That holidays. totally yeah. messed yeah. me yes. up. <laughs> yes. Because I, 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 I wasn't prepped. <laughs> So I go there and I'm like, I'm thinking like sticks. I don't know, six sticks. So I'm sitting there with Georgia and I'm, I'm, I'm watching the production and there's, I'm like, there's a story here. There's these women. There's a story about the women. And, and I, I was totally lost. 
But every, I want to say 90% of the audience, they came prepared. Oh, absolutely. They had yeah. passion, just yes. like all the shows. Yes. But there was something about, they were like, they wore crowns and they mm -hmm. were, they were, they were, they knew the music yeah. and they were singing. Six has a huge and they were like, following. I want, yeah, it's yeah. more like a, a yeah. cult. Yes, it's a phenomenon. <laughs> well, we won't go to cult. Not a cult, yeah, okay, a phenomenon. <laughs> I mean, it's a musical. Um, but, <laughs> But it's a musical. I don't know. It's not a cult. But what I'm saying is I'm feeling like I'm getting part of the vibe of the musicals at the Pioneer. This yeah. is the first year that I'll be able to go to all of them. And I remember many, 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 many years ago when I lived in Nebraska way before kids, musicals were kind of a thing. People were going to the theater and watching live yeah. mus you know, not musical, live mm -hmm. entertainment. And I was like, this is really cool. But then I was like in my early 20s. I don't think I really appreciated it. And then fast forward, so I'm in the 60s, and I'm seeing such a young audience go. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing all ages. Exactly. It makes Broadway, me feel good. Broadway has been a national unifying piece yes. of work, uh, you know, art form since it was created for you know over 100 years. Yes. It, you know, there were times where all the pop music was coming out of Broadway. Yeah. And yeah. when the touring happened, you know, because we don't have a single national theater that everybody goes and attends. We're too right. big of a country. And so by Broadway touring around the country, it actually is a unifier. It's an arts unifier for it is. And, and it's one of our great exports to other cultures. If the show's a hit on Broadway, it plays all over the world. So that's what I'm getting at is I feel like I'm like, you know, really cool now. You are very cool. You <laughs> because, were cool before. But. Yeah, but no, I, I feel like when we get dressed up and then we go to um, Wild River Grill, mm -hmm. we'll be talking about later. There's yes. other places we can go now as well. But okay, I sidetrack. <laughs> but I it's just, like one of the things like Broadway comes to Reno, let's Reno be a part of the Reno is Broadway. a part of it. So yes, um, it's the same phenomenal shows that tour to major cities all across the country. That's, right. that come that's right what's so Reno. cool. I love yeah, it. Incredible. So let's let's do the quote. You know, I'm known for these quotes. Well, or sayings, however you want to say it. So, Pretty Woman, the musical transforms a timeless romance into a stage spectacular, weaving together the threads of storytelling, music, and the magic of Broadway. And that is what you guys are doing every single month That's to right. our town. So let's get into Pretty Women. Um, I saw Pretty Women many, 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 many years ago. I probably, sh I was gonna try to watch it again last night, but I was working on my show notes, so I didn't get to. So um, whoever wants to answer this question, um, adapting a film such as an iconic as Pretty Women to the stage is no small feat. What elements of the original story were um, paramount to preserve the musical? It is such a beloved and iconic film. It's part of American culture, right? We all know, and some of us grew up with that film, right? It's such an important yeah. piece of of American film history. So to take something that is so well known and turn it into a Broadway musical, it has to feel familiar to audiences. What you would hate would be a bait and switch, right? Of like, it's the right. film oh. I love and you show up and it's radically different. Um, people will come with a certain expectation to have the same emotional journey that they have when they watch the film. And the musical does a fantastic job of that. Well, that led me to the next, that led us to our next question. So can you give an overview of what the audience can expect from Pretty Woman, the musical, in terms of the um, adaptation from the screen to stage? I mean, you're going to get the red dress. You're going to get the I snapping, saw, I you saw know, the red the jewelry okay. box. I, gonna, uh, and I almost wore a red dress today, guys, but I had the, the poop. We had the, 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 the pub on. I didn't want to wear a red dress for the pub. You can wear it to the show. I, mean, yeah. I, I think That's I'm true. going to. You should. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. There, there yeah. could be oysters getting flipped across the stage. There's, Are you there's kidding? There's those moments. Uh, there's those moments. She will shop along Rodeo Drive. Yeah. She Ooh. will have her vacation She will have to shop. read the shop, the shopkeepers on Rodeo That's Drive. That's right. Like, you, you got to do that. Um, yeah, so like th those iconic moments from the 1990 film are, are going to make their way in. But mm -hmm. the really cool thing about looking at a piece like that and turning it into a musical is, you know, a, a film is generally, what, around 90 minutes-ish? Mm -hmm. Musicals tend to be you know, a little over two hours, maybe a little bit longer. And so you have time to expand and explore character in a much more deep emotional way. So when a character gets to a certain point in, in the story, 
they have to start singing because their emotions get so heightened. And so you get to see so many different levels of what a character is going through by looking at them in the musical form. Um, you know, you, you get to know the character of Kit, who, you know, in, in the movie was sort of so, a sidekick and had a few scenes, but she's got her own song. Like you get to, you get to know more about each of the characters in, in the stage version that you just have to assume when you watch the film. That is really cool. I, I love how you explain it with the energy because it's kind of, I mean, I don't feel it till after I watch it because I mean, and if you would have been here for six, I would have felt, I would have understood it. Um, but it, it, I think I love that you're here now because there's a lot, maybe there's a few you haven't seen Pretty Woman. Right? I mean, not yeah. everybody's seen it. It's a classical, but it's been so long for me that I know I need to rewatch the original before I go see the show because I, I don't think I'm going to remember. Or do it in reverse watch oh. the show and let it be a new experience and then go back and watch the film mm. and be like, oh, oh yeah, like they did that. that really I really differently. think each of them independently hold up so yeah. extremely well. Um, but if you want, if you want to immerse yourself in that world, go for it. It's a fabulous movie. Yeah, mm. it is. So is there anything that you really want to share about why we need to go to see Pretty Woman and also what's next after Pretty Woman? <laughs> I think like you said in the beginning of the of our interview here today, bringing these national Broadway tours, this incredible caliber of this art form here to Reno is such an amazing experience. Whether you knew about Six going into it, maybe you were part of the global uh, fans right. on the internet or not, <laughs> it was still an incredible experience that you had despite going in knowing nothing about the show. So audiences, whether they love the film, whether they've never seen the film, maybe their parents love the film and right. they've never heard of it, I think it has something for everyone to be able to come together in that experience and go on a journey with those characters through song, through dance, through theater, all of the magic that comes from those live performances, yeah. no matter what the story is, you get swept up in it. I so think can you, capable. I mean, for those of you who haven't seen it, can you give like a summary kind of about Pretty Woman? I mean, we were just talking about this on the way over. Mm -hmm. It really is the Pygmalion story. Okay, explain, explain that. So, Pygmalion from ancient Rome, from Ovid in 8 AD in Metamorphosis, published Pygmalion. And that story has appeared in Western theater and culture for the century. So George Bernard Shaw's play in, in Victorian England and My Fair Lady, the musical, mm -hmm. and Capella, the ballet, they're all just different versions of the same story that has been a part of Western culture since Western culture began. And so Pretty Woman, is another version of that story. It's set, it, um, the, the movie came out in 1990 mm -hmm. and the show kind of maintains that time period. So the show is still, uh, you know, set in 1990 and um, set in Hollywood at that time. Mm -hmm. And um, a woman who is down on her luck, she's um, gotten into some side hustle, uh, meets a very rich businessman who is there um, to, to work a deal. His company is taking over another company and he employs her services, but it goes, um, much, much further than that. They end up having a very deep connection and, mm -hmm. and, you know, she's not the one that needs to be changed. Nope. It's him. I know, that's at what the I, end of the day. That is like, really cool. Thing. And that's where it turns the Pygmalion story on his ears that, mm -hmm. um, he's the one with the problem, not her. Yep. Uh, and, and so, uh, it does become a romantic, comedy in a very unusual way. I love it. Well, we're going to take a break. We're not done with these guys because I love them so much. We are, we have something new and exciting coming to the biggest little city and they've partnered with the um, Pioneer Center with the Broadway shows with local um, restaurants and, you know, you know, bars and stuff like that. But um, it's called Broadway at the Bars, and it's an amazing promotion. We come back, we're going to talk about it. So hang tight. It's about town dev. Adam and Denise will be right back. From Tina Fey and the creator of Saturday Night Live comes Mean Girls, the hilarious hit Broadway musical. Entertainment Weekly says Mean Girls isn't a regular musical. It's a cool musical. It's smart. It's funny. It's ferocious. It's... It's so fat. Come see Tina Fey's musical Mean Girls at Pioneer Center, March 12th through 17th. Wait, why don't I know you? Get your tickets to Mean Girls today at PioneerCenter.com.
Welcome back. It's About Town Deb, Debbie McCarthy with City Talk, Dream Pilot Films. I am so excited. I had so, always have so much fun with you guys. <laughs> you always give me energy and I just, I like, I feel like I can conquer the world right Ooh, now. Um, it's so much fun. So now, this is brand new. Yes. And yeah. I know brand I was, where, where, oh, actually, um, I, George and I were um, out and about, of course, and I was at the office of Hughes and Porter downtown. Mm, yeah. And um, Courtney was there. I was there actually sampling my About Town Deb wine because yes. they're going to start carrying it. And Courtney's like, Matt, how come you don't have her wine? <laughs> and then I said, well, what are you doing here, Courtney? And she goes, oh my gosh, <laughs> wait to see what we're doing. And it's a new promotion called Broadway at the Bars. So yeah. let's go with this. Let's it's, it's innovative. So let's talk about innovative. Broadway at the bars. Can you explain yeah. how this collaboration so, yeah. works? Working with Design on Edge is amazing. Yes. Courtney, and Chris, Meredith I know we are love awesome. them. And Courtney uh, came to us with this idea that then like grew and grew and grew as to you know how can. How can we partner with more of our uh, neighboring restaurants and bars, mm -hmm. not just, you know, downtown Reno, but spreading yeah. all over the place to sort of extend the economic impact that the Broadway shows make in our region? Which because is quite a bit. They, they really do. <laughs> that, that huge Americans for the Arts study just came out showing the, the impact of the arts in, in our region. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's phenomenal, like w what it's doing. And so, you know, we thought, how can we extend this and, and help our neighboring businesses and then also get new people that might not know about Broadway to, yeah. to know about it. And so Broadway at the Bars is a promotion where uh, the bars that are partnering with us, we have nine that are piloting the program with us and they create a specialty cocktail uh, called the Pretty Woman. Mm. And so if you go into any of these bars and you order the Pretty Woman and, and they're all different recipes yep. and they're all delicious. And they were all <laughs> created especially for their bar, That's for their right. craft yep. cocktail person behind to see. And Correct. there's a competition, I think, there as well. Is. So. so if you go in and you order that drink and then you take, take a photo a with it mm -hmm. and you post it on Instagram and you tag us, you're automatically entered into a contest to win two tickets to opening night of Pretty Woman at the Pioneer Center mm. uh, on February 6th. So uh, the bar that gets the most votes and the most postings, whoever created that cocktail, the mixologist mm -hmm. also gets two tickets to open. So night. is the vote the selfie? But don't you want to promote all of them? We are promoting all no, of them. No, yeah. but, but I'm saying like I, so I was at the, um, actually before that, I was at um, the Renaissance yeah. for a Riverwalk meeting and Courtney was there. <laughs> Where she is everywhere. Courtney's everywhere. And, about Town Courtney. Yeah, about Town Courtney. <laughs> and so the um, the refuge spa yes. upstairs, they were giving massages down there early yeah. in the morning. So they invited us up to see what their cocktail was. So on their social media, you can see I was the first one to you sample were. theirs. And so I I don't know if I want to tell you. Should we tell them kind of what they what we do in it? It's kind of cool. Yeah, you can tell. Them. So there. So when you get there and you ask mm -hmm. for the pretty, it was so cool. The pretty women drink. They they mix the drink and they they have like a, a lip gloss, a lips a red a reddish lipstick, yep. and they give you a white napkin. So you get to kiss your napkin <laughs> to make this your little kissy face thing, and you have that, and then you have your drink, and you could do a selfie, and it was so good. It was refreshing. That's it was awesome. yummy. So I was able to do that first one. And yeah. then also then I was at the office of mm -hmm. Hughes and Porter and I was there and I wanted to do it right then. But he goes, no, you, ha you have to wait. I had to follow the rules. I had to wait till the next day. <laughs> so George and I went back and um, I did a whole post on it to coordinate with the polka dots, yeah. knowing that we were going to be here on set. So they had a really cool drink, too. Yeah, and each of these locations have come up with something entirely unique. So and you different. Could go to all nine and have nine different experiences. Yeah. You could love them all. You could say they're all your top choice. We Un hope you do unlike love the them state or the presidential election, you can actually vote more than one time, <laughs> Dad. So there you, you can so vote for you more than one bar. Everyone. So you I, can think, vote all nine. Everyone I can think win. I think you should vote. You should. Tr okay, here's a challenge. I'm going to challenge Georgia and myself. <laughs> Drives her nuts when I do this because then I have to win. 90% I'm going to try. <laughs> I, I'm going to try for 100% that I want between now and the end of the contest because I love our local community restaurants. Absolutely. My goal yeah. is to go to each one 
And even if you don't drink, you could go and you can get it for a friend or you can pay Se it forward. Several have mocktail and versions there's as mocktail, well. Or you could yeah. ask for the mocktail version Absolutely. as sure well. Can. So that I challenge you. Let's see how many you can go to. And I'm going to vote once for everybody because they're part of the game. And then, they're all so good. They're all good. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to vote a second time if, oh, I really all like right. you. That's allowed. The third time is if you have to be the winner. <laughs> the third time, I hope you call an Uber. No, it's the same. No. I'll do three selfies. No, silly. I'll do selfies. <laughs> Silly. Well, that's, thank you for saying that so people didn't think. I meant that you can do, I, I did, I, I did more than a selfie. I did a whole video. So I'm saying you could do a selfie, then maybe you want to do a video and you want to combine some together. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying there's very ways you could be creative. We have so many amazing people out there. Community are so good with social media. True. Absolutely. And it's such a fun way to support these businesses. Maybe yeah. check out a bar and or get a to know them. You, you can to. ask the, Absolutely. ask the, Phenomenal. yeah. And as Adam said, all of this is in advance of the show actually being here in town. So you still get to go out to dinner and then come see the show. But this That's is right. for the weeks leading up to it. Getting you ready to get your pretty women on. So Get let's see mood. which businesses, yeah. Adam. So the, the participating businesses. Drum roll. Wild River Grill, <laughs> uh, Sierra Tap House, Boondocks Bocce, which is in the Renaissance uh -huh. Hotel, as well as the Refuge Spa and Rise Bar. Which That's is where you get to kiss a napkin. Mm -hmm. um, Old Granite Street Eatery, the Brewer's Cabinet, uh, Shim's Tavern, the Office Bar, and Old Bridge Pub. Really wow. wonderful so range of places. Great places to mm -hmm. go. All yeah. local, guys, just so you know. Yeah. All yeah. local. And they created this cocktail just for the Broadway That's series. That's right. And for you out there. So I'm really, really excited. So this promotion is yeah. going to go through February okay. 3rd mm -hmm. because we'll pull the, the winners on February 4th so that they can get ready for the February 6th opening of A Pretty Woman. So they get to go to the opening? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The winners get opening to go to the night. opening night. Uh, and then uh, we are going to extend this idea into Mean Girls, which is our next show. Yes. And we are looking for more bars and restaurants that want to partner with us on this experience. So I, I, already have, I, I already have one for you. One. All right. The Fox Brew Pub. I told them you were oh, here. Yeah. They're, and they're, they're like, well, I Perfect. go, you need to be in think of, well, yeah. okay. So there you I go. Mean, a you're connection in. just happened. You're in. That's I how it happens. I would love to work with restaurants all across the Reno Sparks. I, I think that, that because people yeah. come, if you think about it, I love this. Like I'm all about bringing people together. Yeah. This is a way, whether it's a mocktail, whether it's a cocktail, just the fact that you're going to see the restaurants who also are promoting each other. It's a one yeah. big family. Absolutely. I, yeah. Man. It Courtney, really good to idea. The community here. It, it, it really is. Um, win two tickets. I'm really excited about yeah. that. And I love the idea that the the favorite cocktail they get the mixologist they get to win. Absolutely. And they they are so good naturedly competitive with one another. Oh, they're they spying each, on each other. The most creative. <laughs> oh, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> so just to to say it again, to participation steps, visit per participating bars. You have to order the Pretty Women cocktail. Snap a selfie, which I love to do, with a drink, post it on Instagram, and tag at Pioneer Center. Simple as that. Easy. I would also encourage you to tag the establishment too. Yes. But absolutely. let's give them absolutely. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and us. tag Riverwalk. You can tag about Tongue Death. But we all love each other. <laughs> let's let's do that. Um, let's go back to the I want to make sure you say your website, because not only can you find more about this promotion. Mm -hmm we will see how you can order tickets to the shows. That's so right. Let's, so let's go back on to that. Pioneercenter.com. The Pretty list of easy. all the bars and restaurants who are participating in the Broadway at the Bars collaboration, tickets to Pretty Woman the Musical, and to all of the other upcoming Broadway shows, and then tickets to all the other fabulous things that happen at the Pioneer Center all year long, yes. from Reno Philharmonic, AVA Ballet Theater, Art Town, oh. any number of local incredible arts organizations. Which is really cool. Yeah. Um, what's the next show again? Mean Girls. Yes. So when, when after is... <laughs> Pretty Woman, we will be hosting Mean Girls the Musical. That's coming up in March. Yeah, and they are. We have them scheduled back on set um, to talk about that. I think I've seen Mean Girls 
It was it's kind of, so good. It I have a feeling hilarious. I don't uh, like Mean Girl. Oh, uh, <laughs> Tina Fey. No, I mean, the I mean, Queen Mean Girl, oh, not correct. the movie. Correct. I, I like Nice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like Mean Girls. The show. But, oh, it makes for a good. The Nice story Girls time. might win in the end. We'll okay, see. I do like that. Um, so I'd like you to share. Um, tell us why it is so important in each of your hearts that we promote the Pioneer and the Broadway and say a little bit about the volunteers because we have a few oh, more minutes. Yes. I want to make sure we thank them because every time I we go to the show, I make an effort to thank it, like the, um, the, the greeters, but the, the, um, the, the ones ushers, who ushers. Yeah. I always Wonderful. say, thank you for being here. And they're like, oh, I said, no, without you, we wouldn't be here. So um, uh, just, a, well, you know what? We're going to take a break. When we come back. We'll have you do that because we're going to do our final thank yous. Um, so we're going to wrap up this section sex segment and we'll be right back it's about town Deb. welcome to hollywood watch your dream from the big screen to the broadway stage pretty woman the musical Coming to the Pioneer Center, February 6th through 11th. Tickets on sale at PioneerCenter.com. From Tina Fey and the creator of Saturday Night Live comes Mean Girls, the hilarious hit Broadway musical. Entertainment Weekly says Mean Girls isn't a regular musical, it's a cool musical. It's smart, it's funny, it's ferocious, it's... It's so fat. Come see Tina Fey's musical Mean Girls at Pioneer Center, March 12th through 17th. Wait, why don't I know you? Get your tickets to Mean Girls today at PioneerCenter.com. Welcome back. City Talk, about Town Dab. This is our final segment. I just I just think they should just have a camp out and just stay with us because <laughs> they're always so much fun to have on the show. I'm going to get, I don't want to miss my quotes. So we're going to get right to this quote. Well, I'm going to hold off because this is the ending quote. So let's, let's come back over here. Before um, we went to break, I wanted each of you to share why is it so important that um, you share the Broadway series and the Pioneer and you have so many volunteers. Just share why you love what you do. How about mm. that? Oh my gosh, where to start? start? <laughs> Anywhere. It, it is the most incredible um, passion project. Everyone affiliated with the Pioneer Center is drawn to it for a shared love of community, of the power of the arts, of the importance of coming together for those shared experiences, telling a broad range of stories, um, and peeking into other people's lives through arts Ooh. experiences. And I think uh, whether it's the staff, the board of directors, the incredible over 300 volunteers. Who that the is work impressive. Three, yeah. over 300. Over 300 magnificent human beings who show up for every single performance. They welcome the public. They answer questions. They provide the most beautiful customer service. They do. Um, all as volunteers because they're so passionate about the community, about the importance of the work that we do. And for every single one of us, it's just an honor to get yeah. to represent the Pioneer Center in any capacity mm -hmm. whatsoever. It's a special organization. And yeah, I think like, you know, we both grew up here. Mm -hmm. um, the Pioneer Center is a historic theater built in the 1960s. And so for us, it's been, you know, the place since we were little kids. Adam, so tell us about the unique structure of the building. I mean, there is nothing, there's no other city that has a theater like the Pioneer Center. So not only is it underneath that huge, you know, <laughs> iconic gold dome, but two thirds of the building is underground, you know, that is incredible below ground. And the thing that is so special about it is that uh, the folks back in the 60s that were developing this this kind of radical idea, they wanted a space that was for the community, where the community, outside of what the casino culture was doing at the time, but the community could come together for fine arts experiences and things that they weren't getting outside. And so the Pioneer Center is the home for Broadway, and it is the home where you can go see, you know, the Philharmonic Orchestra mm -hmm. and ballet and and all different forms of entertainment. And if you grew up here, it might have mm. been the first place you saw a live performance ever. That's wow. Uh, so yeah, it, it's so important to the fabric of the community. It's something that brings people together for a shared experience, different than sitting on your couch and watching, you know, a, a movie in the comfort of your home mm -hmm. to like actually 
leave the house, come together with other people you don't know, but who are your neighbors. Uh, it's so to, cool. To see something and, and, and share that experience is pretty special. Well, there's so much to share, but there's one more thing I have to have you share. I keep like adding, remembering. So there is a comedy club where there's another entrance, like you have the big dome and then you go downstairs. And is that like a whole nother stage? Down it there? Is, yeah. yeah so the Cuz I've been up, down there. It takes up an entire city block. <laughs> wow. You cannot tell from the street, but it takes up the entire block about two and a half stories below ground. That it's is a beautiful main stage auditorium with yeah. just under 1500 seats. I've been in that. It's a tiny little cabaret venue with about 150. Oh, I've seats. been in that one too. Yeah. And yeah. so we we present things in there. We have our free family series that is oh, in well, the spring. We have four different mm -hmm. artists that we're bringing in from all over the country. <laughs> Uh, it's free to the public and wow. that's on our website as well. Man, we have so much to share. Oh. <laughs> so website again. Pioneercenter.com. And you know, I, I'm glad I have Adam here because this is one of Adam's favorites. Wow. Nello, you got Adam Hook. So the tell us father. a little bit about this, our Kelly so, Mojo. Um, you know, my, my aunt is Basque and my <laughs> uncle um, loves like the Kelly Mojo, the, you know, the, the original the red wine. Mm -hmm. And so I brought him, you know, <laughs> the four pack of this. He's like, that's really good. I'm like, you got to drink it over ice. That is yeah, good. you have to, yeah. But like Nello. Thank you, Nello. Thank you. So you can go to <laughs> NelloLevo.com. Um, if you're in the El Dorado, um, um, Folsom, Cameron Park area, um, you, you can get it in some of the local stores there. But for right now, you can go to NelloLevo.com, KellyMojo.com, and you can order it and they'll send it right to you. It's one of my favorites. I also want to make sure that I thank, of course, Dream Pilot Films. Without them, we would not be in this amazing studio. Um, as we talked about Design on Edge, Courtney and Chris have been by my side for the last 12 years. And I'm like, hey, it's time to rebrand, time to do different things. <laughs> and just like, you know, with a pioneer, she's just taken it and all these new and involving all the, the restaurants, you know, for this craft, craft Talk cocktail. About bringing people together. That is what we do. Is it is, she's I, amazing. and that's why I love working with her. Um, Surratt Law, Kim has been with, with me since day one and it's made me, I've been, you really do need to check out her Facebook page. They've been doing interviews with, um, their, um, the different attorneys and you get to hear them just, talk sitting there um, sharing about their family, sharing about what they care about and what they're doing and they're amazing. And I know that I need to, um, it's that time in my life where I need to have the family trust and look at that kind of stuff. So um, Kim comes on often, so she'll be on again to talk about that. And then, um, I, uh, you know, Nello, of course, um, Kimmy Candy, Dorinda's Chocolate, um, Labels, Soak, all them. I'm just very grateful to have so many community partners. I am going to go with the quote now. We're getting towards the end. Don't worry, I'm almost done. Um, but before that, I just want to say thank you, thank you to both of you. I'm really looking forward for the opening night of Pretty Woman. When is the opening night again? February 6th. February 6th. Runs through the 11th. Runs through the 11th. And I'm telling you, the feeling that when you when you go, you're going to feel so special. You're going to feel like it's the night out and you're with your friends or your date night or you're, you're taking your, your kids or your grandparents. It's all ages. It was just so much fun. And I really enjoy the family atmosphere. And that's what you're going to get. And afterwards, the buzz as people are leaving and as people are coming in, they're all like, the only thing it's a bummer, you can't take photos. So while the show's happening. Yeah. No, yeah. No. no, indeed. And I don't. In the lobby. No, in the, the I do. Yeah. But I'm just saying that it's, um, yeah, I'm really lucky that I get some behind the scenes photos ahead of time <laughs> so I can post them. But it really is an amazing night out for you guys. Um, and if you want to be a part of About Town Deb, um, you can follow our YouTube um, on social media, you can go to abouttowndeb.com. We're always looking for sponsors, commercials, any of that, we got you. So let's go with a quote and we'll end the show. As we end today's episode of City Talk, let us carry the flavors of creativity and the rhythms of inspiration that res resonate in our community and beyond. Together, we are one heart, united in our appreciation for the stories, the experiences that bring us closer. Thank you for joining us on our journey. It's About Town Deb with City Talk. I'll see you next show.